Hi, it's ilovelimerick.com. It's Michelle here, and I'm talking to Limerick magician Steve Spade. Steve, thanks for joining us. Yeah, you're welcome. Steve, uh, you're quickly becoming known as one of Ireland's foremost magicians and, and certainly a familiar face <laughs> on, on the Limerick scene, but uh, yeah. it, it wasn't the immediate plan. You trained in something completely different. Yeah, I know. I did uh, hotel management and I did kind of event management courses and I did radio broadcast and, and I did lots of bits and pieces, so it's kind of a slowly building up to this, I suppose. Well, was magic always an interest? When when did it spark up first? Yeah, as a kid, like Paul Daniels, everyone says everyone has the magic set. I had a lot of them. I could have had maybe 15 of them at one stage. All the same tricks. Couldn't do any of them at the time. So you were always, I suppose, had an interest in entertainment yeah, and in entertaining people. Yeah, so yeah, when, yeah. when was it that it was like, well, magic is, is going to be the route for me. That's the one I want to concentrate on. I don't know, I suppose when I just kind of started doing it, a couple of friends were kind of doing it kind of amateur style, just on the street and bits and pieces. And I saw the reactions they were getting, and I was like, it's brilliant. Like, there's no other, there's no other performance like it where you can make someone feel that kind of Christmas morning feeling where they're, you know, they're, they're in their normal day life, but for that split second, they're like a child where it's just like, there's, n- there's no explanation to it. And it, it's mad if you can make people have that feeling. It's, it's brilliant. From starting to learn a trick to being able to execute it in front of people, yeah, how long is that process? It depends really on the trick. I know that's a, kind of a, a fob off answer, but um, it really depends. Like, Everyone knowing the secret isn't the trick, performing the trick and giving it. Like I do comedy as well. We'll probably get on to that, but I do comedy and stuff as well. And fusing it all together makes the performance. It's not really the, the trick. You know, I could tell you how it's done, but you wouldn't be impressed. And once the secret's out, you're, it's no good. You know, you might as well be a waiter. I, I presume there's some kind of magician's code involved in that that you don't yeah, tell people the of secrets. Yeah, yeah. So how do you learn the tricks in the first place? <laughs> yeah, that that's a good question too. And I remember the first time just you know buying stuff even just in the local magic shop inside in town. I was like, where'd you hear about that? And I was like, well, I heard from someone. And he almost like, jumped over the counter to attack me when I mentioned a certain apparatus. People will know, TT. And, um, uh, yeah, you know, just, just stuff like that. It is kind of very secretive and stuff. But I suppose the internet has really launched it. And there's a lot of so-called, like, internet magicians now. But I like to uh, take an old effects and give them, like, a modern slant and stuff. So I read a lot of books, a lot of the older books, and study a lot of the old masters. Does the fact that that information is so readily available, does that make it harder on magicians now because it's harder to surprise people? Um, yeah, well, yeah, I suppose back in Houdini's day, you know, if I did that, you'd probably freak out. <laughs> but, but, but now you have to, with TV and stuff, the way things are going, everything has to be more and more dramatic. But then some of the simple things, making something just vanish right in front of somebody is usually enough. But you've also become a lot more ambitious lately. There's they grand plans afoot. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah. I don't know, it's maybe it's a kind of a death sentence thing, I don't know. But uh, it, it, yeah, I just, I, just, I just want to push the, the limits a little bit and it hasn't been done much in Ireland. And even in the world at the moment, there isn't many people other than David Blaine a couple of years back. There's no one really pushing it to the kind of Houdini standard of thing. Um, like Houdini would just put a box on the street, leave it there for like a month, draw a lot of interest to the box and then say, I'm going to escape out of it. And, you know, if you can prove me wrong, I'll give you 10 grand kind of thing. So I'm going to try to bring a bit of that. In the recession, I think that would work as well. Those people would queue up to try to figure me out, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so, yeah, so I don't know. Might do it around the double office area. I don't know. Does does this uh, all become is 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 there a plan for for your own show? Will you be? Yeah, I've done a lot of bits and pieces with YouTube and stuff, and just trying to gradually get stuff up with this with the Trinity rooms and just kind of street stuff. Just it's constantly building. Like mm-hmm. so, yeah, I'd like to put together like a pilot type thing and get it to some TV station at some stage. We did some good stuff um, last year and things with, with the YouTube thing. We did stuff with Glenn Hansard, and I found out from the, one of the tour guys uh, that he was really spiritual and he really liked like kind of scary kind of stuff, and uh, so we decided well kind of brainstormed one night in the middle of the night because it needs to come to me weird. I was like, I'll do something really, really creepy. I want to really freak him out. So I brought him down. He was performing in Dagda. Um, so I brought him down to Dagda and in the graveyard we did a card trick. But I gave him this whole hype story that uh, there was an old magician there and he, this is actually his grave and he died and this is his favourite trick but he never got to complete it. And he was holding the deck cards like, like they were in your hands there and one car- the, the deck uh, cut itself and then one card floated out. And to his face, just going, that's amazing. <laughs> and, 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 and I was like, it's, it's worse for you because you have to go on and perform. And I was like, I'm going to be thinking about that for ages. <laughs> so, yeah, so we've done a lot of crazy stuff. So I hope to just kind of build in that and, and keep on doing it. And, of course, you've ventured into comedy lately as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, I've done a good Do the two go hand in hand? Do you mix a little bit of your magic? Yeah, I've, sure? mixed, yeah I've mixed a lot of the... There's some old effects from, from a lot of magicians that at the time, they, they had the effect down and there was comedy elements, but I don't think they were elaborated just because at the time it was. So I'm just kind of taking some of them old effects and, and branched them out with just some new, new ideas and kind of stuff and really trying to fuse the two things together. But even like Tommy Cooper was doing it years ago and stuff mm-hmm. and 
still would be a huge inspiration. And I think like even Keith Barry and and David Blaine, even though they're really serious and stuff, even Darren Brown, like if you see Darren Brown show, half of it is, is hilarious, you know, and the rest is really mind blowing. So if you've got a good mix of very strong effects and it's still very entertaining and funny, I think you've got a good show. And you might need the comic relief after a few of the the, the big tricks as yeah, well because they kind of yeah. take your breath away a little bit. Yeah. They can be a bit spooked. Mm. Do you have any idea what's in, in this very stylish I'm bandana? I'm afraid I think I might. Yeah? Yeah. Check it out. It's a spike. It's a spike. It's a spike. <laughs> Check them all out. They're, they're completely uh, the exact same. They're all just pieces of wood. Yeah. The wooden plinths. One's slightly different. Yeah. With a giant spike right in the middle. Check it out. Make sure it's normal. Pick it up. Get to know it. Yes, it's a perfectly normal spike. Is it sharp? Be careful. Excellent. Excellent. And we've got a blindfold as well, you can check that out. Fantastic. Make sure it's a real blindfold. It's a real blindfold. Here's what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you some cups. You can check out they marked or do they have any dots or anything on them if you want. And then you're going to cover up the... I hope they do. The, <laughs> the wooden blinds. No markings yes. at all. Okay. Perfect. Just want to make sure I have enough space on that. Not going to be those flowers. Yeah, you take as long as you like. Cool, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, and so you, wh where is the spike right now? You know where it is, yeah? Right there. It's going to get off that bit of dry blood from that show the other night. Oh, I don't Sorry do that. that. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. I know where the spike is now, and you know where it is, and people at home know where it is. So I'm going to put on the blindfold. Okay. And you're going to mix them up, okay? Now, it okay. might be actually easier we, if we take this off, okay. because then it'll move easier on the glass. <laughs> okay, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to mix them up. I'm going to put on the blindfold. We can't see through it. I haven't switched or anything uh -huh. like that. I can't see a thing. I'm gonna look over here as well though. Okay, and you're just gonna start turning them okay. and mixing them up. Okay, they're shuffled. Okay, all done? Yeah. So they're all covered if I take this off, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Am I still supposed to know where it is? Because I don't. Alright, you're meant to know, yeah? Oh, okay. Right, let's go mad. Here, put on the blindfold as well. Here's the fun part, and then the crew will make sure I don't lift up the cups or switch them. But I'm gonna mix them up a little bit now as well. <laughs> okay, just mix them up. Brilliant. Okay? So you don't know where it is? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm still here. Okay. This isn't a dream either. Pinch yourself. Make sure you are here, okay? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give you one last chance to mix them up. Okay. Okay, you don't have to mix them up, but you can if you want. Don't lift up the cups now because you get nasty, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot of mixing up yourself. All right, brilliant. Let's do this. Um, put your hand for me. First cup up here, do you think that one's safe? Yeah. This one's safe? Yeah. Okay. We'll move over another one. Do you think this one's safe? I don't know. Yeah. Just yes or no, it's yeah. pure instinct. Yeah. This one's safe? No. This one's this one's live, okay? And this one's safe? Yeah. Okay, so we'll go back to this one. Do you think this one's safe? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Push down. Push down. <laughs> no, we're all good. Okay, cool. Do you think this one's safe? This one's safe as well? Yeah. Okay, is this one safe? No. This one's live and this one's safe? Yeah. Okay, we'll go back to this one. Are you sure this one's safe? Yeah. Actually, I think this one is safe. <laughs> okay, cool. It's starting to shake now a little bit, that's okay. Put out your two hands. Okay. Actually, without, without um, kind of, if you can kind of like make a little bit of space, maybe more or something, if, if they're like all over okay. the place, I don't know. Yeah, they're beside just so each other. Yeah, yeah, just so I don't knock yeah. everything. Yeah, there's a hand over okay. either. Cool. You have a hand on each one? I have a hand over Okay, one, so yeah. which one do you think it is? Just wiggle your fingers. This one. This one? This one? Do you think it's this yeah. one? Yeah. You sure? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's pure instinct. Do you think it's this one? Yeah, I think it's that one. You think it's this one? Yeah. So we won't push down that one? Okay. You sure? Yeah. It's not, it is this one? Yeah. So it's definitely not this one then. Oh. <laughs> Fantastic. Check it out. Make sure it's still there. <laughs> Absolutely terrifying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a great job. It's brilliant. Yeah, good job. Um, yeah, no marks. No, no, that, yeah. that, that shaking right there. <laughs> yeah. okay, right. You can keep the blindfold. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, thanks so there much. There <laughs> That's a close one. Well, Steve, I can, I can safely say you've converted me at least from a skeptic to a believer anyway. <laughs> One day at a time, exactly. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, Michelle. That is Magician Steve Spade on ilovelimerick.com.